Hi, and welcome to the walkthrough for the Piper Rose Black logo. So this is another option for you if you've watched the first and second tutorial already. Um, this is just another version of your logo that you will be saving for future use just in case you need it. If you are working on a design in social media, for example, and your overlays aren't working, like the white one that you did isn't working, then most likely the dark one is going to work. So it's just nice to have these on hand and to just have them all in folders ready to go for when you are designing these, um, the, your next piece of artwork. So what we've done is the exact same process as the white one, and you're going to want to do the same thing. So you're going to want to change the name or bring over the design that you've already completed, copy the elements and bring them over. Uh, and we've shown you how to do that in the first tutorial. And then just go ahead and change, uh, the, change the, the colors to the black and gray. So I'm going to change this to sales representative. Space that out. Lift it up a bit. Okay. And when that's done and you're happy with the positioning of it, everything's good, then you just do the exact same process that we spoke about in the first tutorial, um, which will talk about how you can copy these elements over to your second secondary logo here. You just want to copy the same process over and over again until you have all of the elements that you want. So again, you can pick and choose which elements of this design you want to run with. If it's just the primary logo, if that's the only thing you need right now, then don't stress yourself out trying to get all these things in place. Just do what you need and work with what you've got. So once you're done changing all the elements, what you're going to do is the same thing that we did with the white one. You're going to delete the background. So the reason why we added a background here was for design purposes. We wanted to make sure that you could see what you were doing and know a, f a finalized effect. So for example, I'm going to just bring a photo over here that's white. I just type in white. So let's say you have a really white design. Let's say that you have a really white canvas. This looks really good. <laughs> I'm just giving you guys nice design tips here. Um, that looks really good. So let's say that this was your background. You, you see that you would need to use your black logo because because it's it's so white your color logo might show up really nicely on it actually with this white but you might need something that just has a little bit more contrast and that might be your dark logo here so if this um if this is what you need for a white background then at least you have it ready and in your folder and ready to go so that's just an example of of um, how you would use your black logo so before you head over to download, what you want to do is you want to delete all the backgrounds so that you have a nice clean white slate behind it. And you head over to download and you're going to want to download them in PNG format, in PDF print format, and then in JPEG as well. And then you'll have all the formats that you need for different, um, for different projects. And that's it for Piper Rose Black. Hope that was helpful.